Hello, my name is Omar Rampasad. It's Sunday, July 22nd, uh, 2018 at 9 o'clock p.m. And I just came out from outside and I did some errands in the, in the, in the area very close to the building. And um, as I said before, I'm being harassed and targeted in the area as a prostitute. And uh, there is a team of people who's tracking me from this building and in the community as well. And these teams are from different ethnic backgrounds. There's Sri Lankans, there's Chinese, there's Blacks, there's Muslims. Um, so the, the account was distributed. So these gang members and, and um, uh, people, just ordinary people who want to play spy, um, are tracking me all over the place. So as I pass by a Chinese um, young person, uh, a male with his girlfriend or his female companion, he said, I got you. And this is repeated several times by different people, different um, colors and so on. We got you. That means that uh, they are taking part in the spying and, uh, and, uh, and tracking and stalking me uh, in order to put together this report. We have a new envelope and I'm very, very open, meaning everything about me is being reported and that reported on. And that includes inside of my home as well. So um, again, just out and out harassment. But what is important here is uh, the harassment is connected to the workplace because there seemed to have been a meeting um, of, by this, uh, held by this team and they decided that I'm not wanted in the workplace anymore. Now, why would that happen? Uh, for somebody to say this uh, in, in a meeting of any sort, uh, it would mean that people from my workplace would have to be contributing information to this team, which means that the people in the workplace are spying on me. In order to get information about me, like things that I eat, when I go to the bathroom, how much I eat, um, when I eat, uh, how much I, I weigh, how fat I am, if I'm looking sleepy, if I'm looking um, tired or whatever, uh, you'd have to follow me around and you'd have to constantly come around my desk and constantly engage me in conversations, which is exactly what's happened in the workplace. I'm constantly interrupted, uh, especially by one person uh, uh, who I believe is the person who went to court to give information about me because um, I heard that uh, Budrin registered me in the court as a ward of a court because nobody cares about me apparently. Well, I have news for you. I care about me. So, and uh, my independence is very important to me. Apparently, these, the, this team thinks that I'm not, uh, I should not be living alone. This is, these are traffickers, basically. Uh, a trafficker or, or a pimp wants to take the, 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 the victim's independence away so he has control, or she has control. This is what it's all about, really. But, um, so let's talk about, um, again, as I, let's continue talking about the relationship uh, between complete knowledge, uh, between the, the, um, the information flowing from the workplace and complete knowledge of this team. So complete knowledge means I'm completely open. So everything about me is known to this team. Now there's a team um, I heard in the workplace. Uh, so this team is the, the, the team that's tracking me in the workplace and is engaging me, as I said, uh, I I in conversations, tracking me, uh, making contact with me or trying to to gather information about me and they would give feed the information or give the information to the team in the building who then consolidates the information and comes up with things like where she's not wanted in the workplace anymore. We don't want her walking around. Where is she getting this money to buy the gr this groceries that she got? Uh, are the groceries that she's buying healthy for her? Um, uh, is she safe? Because we... Um, all these men gerbled her in the past and the worker in this building um, had outsourced the monitoring for years and thousands of, of Chinese and Muslim and black people uh, look, looked at her as she slept and she's not safe on the street anymore and we don't want her on the street anymore. So how do we get her out of the street? Well, easy. When you walk, hit your foot with a laser. Make it swollen and painful to walk. And as I was walking to the grocery, to the, the drugstore, um, my knee suddenly, almost suddenly gave out because I got this huge pulse of pain, sudden pain into my knee. That's a laser attack because it, it came and went in seconds and I almost fell over. 
um, uh, and it just the pain just disappeared, like a muscle spasm. Uh, and then uh, the inside of my ankle is constantly pulsed, and the sole of my feet are very painful and swollen. Uh, so this is uh, these are ways, covert ways, because it's a covert program, because nothing has been disclosed to me. This, uh, you know, everything is done secretly, and um, and my voice is suppressed, and it's supposed to be something done around me, but not directly to them, um, uh, disclosing to me. So it's a, it's a harassment campaign. So it's a campaign to set me up and frame me by doing this, doing it this way. Uh, it's a targeting program, basically. Uh, so um, things like lasers and tasers and um, microwave weaponry will be used on you as you walk the street by the gangs who are running the program, traffickers. If a trafficker targets a victim and, um, and uh, used the, the gang stalking method to control the victim, they will, of course, use lasers to hit their foot if they don't want them walking and they want them to stay home to be gerbled by the johns and pimps they're selling to. Then this is the way it's going to be done. So right now, uh, I'm flagged again. Uh, the team has, uh, has put together this information. Maybe they're talking to Constable Stipp. Maybe not. Maybe another a policeman. Maybe they got it extended uh, because uh, if it's not extended, I might be charged. Uh, whatever charge, just I should say, whatever charge there is on the books is a direct result of being targeted at its entrapment. I should not be charged with anything at all. Um, uh, you know, so but this is what it's being this is what's being used by the gangs and the, the team and the people who are going along with the team to intimidate me into going along with them. So let uh, this person at work see you, leave the lights on so they can see you. And thanks for leaving the lights on. Um, you know, so and so likes what didn't like what you wore last night. This is imprinting, as I said before, uh, that could have been happening with Rohini Besasa, as I said before in my last video today. Um, so there are some definite um, links between what went on in Rohini Besasa's case um, and was covered up by her being um, um, diagnosed with a mental illness and drugged. And I uh, and she, and uh, then harassed, criminally harassed. I, I'm suspecting the person she killed was most likely working with. If she was tagged and flagged like I am, the person she killed was most likely working with an informant. And she was there to see what this person was doing, what Rohini Besasa was up to, and probably harassed her or said something to her and triggered her because. Uh, she was on uh, antipsychotic drugs, and these drugs have very, very powerful side effects. So, um, and this is probably why she killed the person. Um, so it was a made-happen situation, really. So, uh, you know, I am being harassed this way to have me drugged uh, so that the team could gather information to support their case to have me drugged. It's a setup and a frame. And once I'm drugged, then of course um, I'll be mentally um, diagnosed with some kind of illness before I'm drugged, and my credibility will be shot, to, you know, to heck. And uh, and uh, then the control will be taken away from me, and then I could be sold, to be gerbled endlessly. This is a trafficking, a recruitment, and a trafficking program. The Chinese traffickers are behind it. The people in this building, the Chinese people in this building are supporting the Chinese traffickers. The worker I have in the Human Rights Tribunal hearing for sexual harassment is a key player in this trafficking ring, I'm suspecting. So the Chinese traffickers are not going to stop coming after me. The cops who are working with the Chinese traffickers in this building are also trafficking. The people in the workplace who are saying things like I'm mentally retarded, I'm stalking them, and so on, are lying. They are working with the Chinese traffickers. They are lying, out and out lying. They are the one who's stalking me because they are the one who's giving information about me. You'd have to follow me around to do that and spy on me. I am being, um, you know, uh, constantly interrupted at my desk. Um, I am being um, verbally harassed about being a prostitute. I am being, um, uh, uh, you know, uh, um, psychologically harassed, emotionally harassed. 
it's a very, very stressful situation to be in, uh, in the workplace. However, I need to pay my bills. And it is a six-month contract. Um, I intend to finish the contract, even though I'm being harassed this, uh, this much. Because uh, I said I need to pay my bills. Uh, however, I am in the market for another contract, another job. Um, I'm very good at uh, analysis. Um, if anybody who's saying, anybody is saying negative things about what I'm doing in the job, it's because they're targeting me. They're lying. So any employers out there who like to hire me as an analyst, um, what I'm doing right now is really good. Um, it's really good um, um, start. Uh, it, it's, a, it's a good lead in into analysis uh, because it really... Um, it's a really um, good job for constant problem solving. It's just really good practice. So um, if any employers out there looking for a good financial analyst um, or an accountant, general accountant, give me a call. Um, I have a few more months uh, into the contract that I'm, I'm in the market because, uh, you know, um, the contract is going to end soon. So I need to be looking. So talk to you another time.